How's it going guys? Just want to share with you guys my build for the Achillivator and Path of Titans. I was super happy when this dinosaur dropped, and I know I haven't posted in a while, so um, do forgive me for that. Um, but I want to jump back into posting another uh, build video with this dinosaur here, with the Achillivator. It's been a lot of fun playing this dinosaur. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. And we're going to start off with the um, subspecies as usual. Now, as you can see, I've gone with the plus 50% acceleration subspecies. I found that this is probably the most useful one that I've found in fighting and things like that. Just well-rounded. It kind of helps you um, get ahead of your targets and, and you know, kind of stay ahead of them in the fight. Because the moment that you hit into, like, a small log or a rock or anything, as soon as you get around it, you're going right back to um, pretty much full speed. Whereas if they hit it trying to chase you or whatever... Um, they get slowed down. So this is what I'm running is the 50% acceleration. There is the other subspecies. The, the bleed damage isn't too bad if you're running the ripping kick. Um, but you really just have to pay attention to the bleed that you're putting on and things like that. And you're not as fast. So you can actually get kind of run down by other Achilos and things like that. Or Achilos, I guess is how you say it. And the plus 10% health regeneration, just my little two cents on this. I did run it for a while. And I don't find it's that useful because in order to get your health to regenerate... You have to be out of combat for at least 30 seconds. And as you guys know, when you take a hit or you hit somebody, you're in combat for 30 seconds. So you're not going to be able to regenerate health until after you're out of combat. It's a little bit harder to get this to really weigh in your favor. So I do prefer something that's going to help me at all times. And therefore, I go with the plus 50% acceleration. So let's jump on to the abilities really quickly here. We have the head slot. And I run Raptor Strikes because if you're able to tail ride or chase something with this dinosaur, which is pretty quick, this dinosaur is pretty fast, um, Raptor Strikes really helps because you can, you know, land those multiple hits. And of course, you can stack this thing up to about five times, or I believe you can stack it up to five times is the top. And at the fifth stack, you're getting the most damage. Now, I find personally that the first three hits don't really do much. You really have to get to the fourth and fifth hit to really start laying damage on them. And you don't want your stacks to fall off. So if you're tail riding somebody and you're chasing, this is kind of a must-have in my opinion, Raptor Strikes, because this one here has a bit of a delay between bites. It's much like the Dasp. I think it has like a one-second delay between bites or maybe even a two-second. Um, and it's just not efficient when you're tail riding to be able to not continuously do damage. So we run Raptor Strikes. And um, keeping in mind that, uh, well, we'll talk about it later, but there's an ability that we use that kind of helps us get those first three stacks. So Raptor Strikes, what we're running for the head slots are spammable. For senses, if you're playing solo, uh, choose Lone Hunter. It is the best for, obviously, if you're playing solo, gaining 10% increased attack damage while not in a group. However, if you're going to be grouping with people and things like that, and you're not really sure what you're doing, if you're going to be in a group or not, um, Hunter's Instinct's pretty good because it increases your land movement speed by, by 5% while not in combat. So that kind of helps you get, um, you know, to a fight to help your friends or maybe get away from a fight once you've, you know, dodged them for 30 seconds um, and things like that. So this is kind of a good one. And this one actually does still take effect when you're in a group, Hunter's Instinct. So it's kind of up to you if you're going to be grouping with people a lot. Probably run Hunter's Instinct. If you're going to group with other smaller raptors, you could run Mob Boss, obviously. But I don't see a lot of small raptors around anymore, so... Probably click on uh, Hunter's Instinct if you're going to be grouping. And if you're not and you're a solo player, definitely go with Lone Hunter. And I play a lot solo, so Lone Hunter it is for me and for my build. That increased damage really, really helps. And especially when you couple it with this here front limb. We run Cruel Swipe um, because this here attack does more damage to heavier enemies. So um, if you guys stick around in the video, you will see me you know, fight a T-Rex and things like that. I think I got a clip of that in the back of this video. Um, and, you know... This thing hits hard. Uh, anything that's bigger or heavier than you, Cruel Swipe is really useful. And that's why I run this on my build, so I can actually fight any kind of opponent. I can fight smaller ones with Raptor Strikes, you know, like other Achillivators, things like that. And I can fight bigger dinosaurs like the T-Rex, you know, Eotrike, um, Aloe, you name it. You can fight it with Cruel Swipe because of that extra damage on the heavier targets. So really, really useful. And it's very important to know that this has like a... I think it's a 6 or an 8 second cooldown, I'm not 100% sure, but it does have a long cooldown. So when you use this ability while entering the fight, you're going to need to start just, you know, stacking up the Raptor Strike Bites until you can hit this again. And if it's a bigger target and you can't just stay right on them because you're scared of stomping, just, you know, weave in, hit them with the claw, you know, back out, circle them, wait for an opening, hit them again, and you just keep doing that. Metabolism, we won't go through that, but the hide, um, I don't feel like 
survival of the fittest is all that good and I haven't really tried strength in numbers again because it's small raptors that you have to be grouped with so we go with hollow bones for my build reducing your uh, jump stamina cost by 20 percent and we run this because on the tail as well you have um, rudder which also reduces your stamina your jump stamina cost by 20 percent but you can kind of get that buff through your hide right here so hollow bones is a really good one to have to reduce that jump stamina cost for the legs um, I found personally I wasn't able to pounce on really almost any dinosaur like I think an EO you can pounce on a T-Rex but if a T-Rex is running slick scales you can't really pounce on them so I don't run pounce I do run rip and kick for two reasons number one bleed damage is really good this uh, this patch for path of titans it hits hard and it's hard to get bleed off of a dino so it's really useful but it's also useful for movement you can actually you know use this to get around and get around behind a dino and all that sort of thing or to get away so rip and kick is really good for just the movement that it provides and for the bleed damage and also for our second slot you could run pounce here but again i wasn't able to really like pounce on many targets and i found that that's not really what i see a killer is doing much i couldn't even pounce on a on a hats when i tried so you know i just started running leader of the pack as my secondary in case um i grew up with smaller raptors in my group which i haven't really done a whole lot but in just in case i do it gives them a little bit of a buff they feel like it kind of just helps the group if I have a small raptor uh, in there. For the tail, we run counterbalance to use 25. Uh, sorry, use 15% less stamina while running. I feel like this is pretty big because you know this build, this dinosaur in general, is really meant to be a tail rider. It's meant to be very you know um, athletic, like agile. You know, you're not really just standing in one place tanking a lot of stuff. So this is really really useful. I think it's a little bit more useful than rudder. Rudder is good for jump control. The fall damage is pretty big for rudder, not going to lie, but um, if you're playing correctly, you don't have to worry about falling off huge, huge, steep drops and things like that. And again, we can already get the stamina reduced cost for jumping with our hide, so counterbalance is just really, really good for keeping your stamina up. And then last but not least, uh, Panicking Spirit. This here is kind of a must, I believe, in my build, um, because, not because of the 25% stamina that it gives you it's because of the reduced attack damage to all nearby creatures by 20% this is kind of like deep rumble for a t-rex if you hit this but just before entering a fight it has an animation so you have to time it correctly you know get the animation off it but you have you know 30 seconds to where you can go in there you're taking 20% reduced damage and you can hit your cruel swipe to hit get you know get some good damage and you don't just use by the way cruel swipe on a big target on a heavier target I mean that's what it's intended for but you can you, you can weave this in on a small target if you're fighting another Achillobator you can use cruel swipe right entering the fight so you you buff up with your panicking spirit you hit cruel swipe on them and then you instantly start just you know using your raptor strikes get that stack up to four or five stacks and then try to get another cruel swipe in there and then just start you know biting them down with raptor strikes it's super super useful to tail ride that way and to fight uh, smaller creatures so that's pretty much the build and that's how you would use it is using your panicking spirit to to uh to buff yourself so that you don't take as much damage you're gonna hit them with a cruel swipe it has like a six to eight second cooldown you know and during that time after you hit the cruel swipe on them you're just going to basically be trying to stack the raptor strikes up trying to get those stacks of damage and once your cruel swipe comes back up you hit them with cruel swipe again and you're going back to raptor strikes and that's pretty much the build now um your panicky spirit once it runs off for 30 seconds it does have a long cooldown so you're trying to just you know put as much damage as you possibly can on the target again if you're finding a heavier target which cruel swipe allows you to do you are probably not going to use the raptor strikes as much you might use your panicking spirit call and then run in there and try to claw them back off for the eight seconds look for another opening claw them again it's more of a slow pace fight but it works really well so yeah that there is my build for the achillobator and uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys want to stick around, I will show you in just a moment some clips of me actually using this dinosaur, this build, um, and in some PvP fights and things like that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
be a different one. Wait, no, I hit him. What? How does he hit that? Well, I killed him. <laughs> what was that? I hit him with one cruel swipe and he deep rumble. Man is upset. And he just deep rumble, bro. You you gotta be kidding me. Why would you deep rumble there? Coming at me with a bone break, hey yo. Yo, you got the wrong build on, buddy. I oh, just bit the tip of my tail. Ah. You think I'm stupid, huh? You think I was stupid, huh? I may not. You just. <laughs> He's panicking. <laughs> he just canceled his bone break again. Do your stomp. Yeah, do the stomp. Oh, I almost got stuck underneath him. Hey, yo. We're fighting on this, like, weird hill. I'm actually kind of schooling this kid. I'll probably die for it, though. He can end my life so quickly. I just dove into his face. <laughs> oh, just clawed him again. Burned his stamina out. Hey, yo, chance, I just got stuck. I just got stuck. The rocks. Why does he not look like... Oh, Chance. Jeez. My... <laughs> I'm like throwing a little bit. Oh, 
we need a tail to the head. Try to ruin me here. 